Hello everybody and welcome to Ancient Architects. Please subscribe now to get the latest ancient history news and independent research from around the world. On August the 13th, 2022, Zahi Hawass spoke at Bowers Museum in Santa Ana, California, a sold-out lecture where he gave a presentation about the so-called Lost Golden City, about recent discoveries at the Valley of the Kings, and also the work that's taking place at the pyramids. I wasn't in attendance, but a friend of the channel was, and he sent me some footage that really sparked my interest. Because, all being well, there should be a lot more news coming from the Great Pyramid very soon. Hawass discussed the previous robotic missions into the northern and southern Queen's Chamber shafts, including the Pyramid Rover mission of 2002. He mentions how the robot drilled through the door at the end of the southern shaft, only to find another door, which I personally don't believe is a door. It's just core masonry. I think the respective doors at the end of each shaft merely covered them over during the pyramid's construction, and they were simply left in place by the pyramid builders when the shafts were surplus to requirements, whatever their function was. Last year, through some detective work of my own, I managed to get my hands on 51 photographs taken by Pyramid Rover in the Queen's Chamber Northern Shaft. And this was a great moment for me, because the images had never been published in full, and I think something of this nature should be in the public domain. Hoas goes on to mention the Northern Shaft, and he does show four of the 51 pictures from inside but with his main focus being the door with the copper handles at the end. Still, he failed to mention Sibson's window, yes, I'll keep saying it, the anomalous cavity after the first bend in the shaft. There was no mention of the pile of debris, which I believe must come from this cavity, and inside the debris was also a ticket to the Giza Plateau, likely dating back to the 1970s. The ticket is particularly interesting because there is no way it could blow up into the shaft as one end of it is sealed. Nobody could reach their arm inside and around the bend as it's too far up, and so its position within the pile of debris still needs explaining. It is an anomaly. He next mentions the Jedi Rover, the last robotic mission into the Queen's Chamber Southern Shaft that took place more than 10 years ago. The team discovered a number of red markings behind the door. Please note, 8 hours of raw footage, enhanced footage and also a full length documentary are all published on the Ancient Architects channel and linked below. Now it gets quite interesting. Regarding the Queen's Chamber shafts, Hawass next says and I quote, we are hoping before the end of this year or next year, we will reveal the secrets of the Great Pyramid with this team. And he shows himself alongside the Jedi Rover team. This is the first I've heard of a new mission into the Queen's Chamber northern and southern shafts, and I don't know the motivation, but I do hope that my video revealing the photos and anomalies in the Queen's Chamber northern shaft, at least in part encouraged a new search because that was my goal, to make the raw pictures available to all, to get people talking, to reveal yet more anomalies, and to encourage more exploration. Either way, according to Hawass, a new mission to explore the Queen's Chamber shafts is planned before the end of 2023, and that to me is big news. Hawass next goes on to say that he believes the burial chamber of King Khufu is still yet to be found inside the Great Pyramid, meaning he must think the King's Chamber is actually not the burial chamber. He must believe there is a yet undiscovered room. I'll come to where this might be shortly, because maybe he knows something that's not yet public. He next goes on to discuss the scanning that's been taking place inside the pyramid, a number of projects that have been going on for the past three years. It's not just a new round of cosmic muon scans, but new infrared thermography, photogrammetry and laser, work conducted by scientists from Japan, France and Egypt. 
Of course, Hoas mentions the small and big void previously detected by the Scan Pyramids project a few years ago, and the most recent work was set to improve the original data to confirm the anomalies and hopefully provide us with some more detailed information, such as specific shapes, sizes, orientations, and so on. Hoas mentions he was handed a brand new report, the new data, just an hour before leaving Egypt for the US. And as of August 13th, the day of the lecture, he said he still hadn't read the report. He says that when he reads it, he'll know if the big void is definitely there and how exactly they can reveal the secret, i.e. gain access and explore it. But Hawass goes on to mention something else very curious as well. He says he believes that under the floor of the Queen's Chamber is located the mystery of the Great Pyramid of Khufu. It's just a one-liner with no embellishment or reasoning, but he sounds so sure there is something below the Queen's Chamber. Does this viewpoint come from new information, new scanning data that suggests there's a room? Does he believe the true burial chamber of King Khufu is hidden below? For those interested to watch, I'll play the full video that shows part of his presentation concerning the Great Pyramid at the end of this video. The audio isn't great, but it's recorded on a phone, and well, I'm very grateful to have it. So, to recap, what have we learned in this video? Well, we have three important Great Pyramid updates to take home. Number one. Apparently, by the end of this year or next, it looks like there'll be another Jedi robotic mission into the Queen's Chamber shafts. This I'm very excited about. Number two, Zahi Hawass is now in possession of the latest results of the Muon scans, which apparently will confirm or deny the existence of a big void above the Grand Gallery. If confirmed, we'll know a lot more of the finer details, and so preparations can surely start for its exploration. Number 3. Hawass believes, and I quote, The mystery of the Great Pyramid of Khufu is beneath the floor of the Queen's Chamber. Why he thinks this, he doesn't say, but it is an important point to take home because of how much new geophysical work has been taking place in the past three years. Personally, I've been relatively quiet on the Great Pyramid for the past few months because I've really been waiting for updates, for new papers and new data to pour over. And well, it looks like it should be coming very soon. I hope Hoas and the Egyptian authorities do make the information public, because I know I can speak for many of the Ancient Architects viewers when I say we are all excited to know more. The Great Pyramid of Egypt is the most incredible ancient structure the world has ever seen, and the fact that more chambers may be hidden, and that more exploration is set to take place, well, I for one can't wait. Now, I'll hand you over to Zahi Hawass. ...here to stop humidity, because humidity was 85%, and we began to clean the salt mechanically. And I found this tunnel, 20 by 20 centimeter, an air hole that we can have a robot for this small tunnel, and the robot can go to make ventilation system, bring the air from outside. Mm -hmm. And I did find this German, his name is Gendenberg, and we used his robot and went in the northern tunnel. It was bending after 60 feet, and the German robot could not bend. But we sent the robot in the south tunnel at 200 feet, stopped in front of a door with two couple handles. What this door might hide? It was very really interesting to discover this door. When I became explorer to the National Geographic, we were nine explorers. Each explorer had a dream. I told them my dream is to design a robot. They called it Pyramid Rover. <laughs> and actually, we sent that robot inside the South Tunnel. We opened one hole, which one centimeter and one millimeter. We sent an optic camera 
behind that door without a second one. <laughs> no cover handles. And why we have cover handles? When you go to the Kali Museum and you look at the canopic shards of Tutankhamun, it has cover handles for people to pull them. Then actually, we uh, also can see the. Uh, uh, we went after that to the northern tunnel that was bending. We found it, it was bending north and south for 24 feet. And the reason for the bending was to avoid the Grand Gallery. At 200 feet, the robot stopped in front of a third door with two copper handles. <laughs> Actually, I think, I believe that inside this pyramid, the burial chamber of Khufu is still inside. And actually, I met this guy from Hong Kong, who's a dentist, but he designed a robot, and he called it Jiji. And Jiji was the magician who met Khufu and told him about the secret of the Gattoth. We are hoping that before the end of this year or next year, we will reveal the secrets of the Great Pyramid with this team. Yeah. But in the same time, there is another team working inside the Great Pyramid right now for the last three years using these techniques. This is the first time that these techniques has been used inside the Great Pyramid of a team from Japan, France, and Egypt. They have been, I'm the scientific director who actually can look at the result of their work. And the first result, this is the main entrance of the pyramid that you do not use when you go. Behind it, they said there is a big void. But we know about this big void. Because for the workmen to cut the first tunnel, they have to have a space to move. And they said above the grand gallery, there is another void, about 100 feet long. And they never said exactly where this void. And that's why they worked for the last two years to tell me exactly what could happen inside. And they gave me the report just one hour before I left Egypt this week. I did not really read the report yet. But when I read the report, we'll be able to find out if this void is true, we have to find out how can we reveal the secret of this void. Mm. But I still believe that in the floor, under the floor of the second chamber of the pyramid, located the mystery of the great pyramid of Kufu. Thank you very much for watching this episode of Ancient Architects. If you enjoyed the video, please subscribe to the channel, please like the video, and please leave a comment below. Thank you very much.